And so, Father, today we give you praise and glory for each and every life represented here. Join us together in this celebration. Through Jesus we pray. Amen. It'll feel surreal, but I, and I feel like it'll be kind of like a, like a launch pad. From then on, boom, what will you do from here? Um, I see post-grad as a blank canvas that can be painted on any way you want it to be. I'm excited. Excited now, sad later. <laughs> Today to celebrate all that we've accomplished and all of the hard work that's gone into making that day happen and a chance to honor our family and our friends who greatly supported each of us in that process. So I think it's as much of a celebration of our work as the work of all the people who helped get us here and all the people who made Pepperdine what it is while we were here. Hey, you know, like a small group of people who I'm friends with, who I've met so far, but I'm continuing to like meet new people, the really awesome people I'm getting along with still this day after I've been here for like five days. I can't believe we're here. It's crazy. <laughs> we made it. Same guys I started with. <laughs> can't believe it. Okay. I thought I wasn't going to be able to leave my hometown for college. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but then like picturing like myself freshman year versus now, so much has changed about my goals and my personality and my values that I think I'm just, I feel ready to go out there and like start working and do all of that, but I don't feel ready to leave. We walked across together. We're going to shake it and his hand like, like this. this. <laughs> so thank you, sir. I just like woke up and like, got ready and I was like, wow, like I'm actually moving away from the city that I've been in for like 10 years. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to hereby open the 2019 commencement ceremony for Pepperdine University's Seaver College of Letters, Arts, and Sciences. So my friend Josie is speaking and I'm super excited that she is our senior speaker. She is my hero in every sense possible. As we leave this Oceanside view, things will not get easier. Adversity is a part of life. What I've witnessed at Pepperdine, however, is that when metaphorical and literal wildfires tear through our lives, the immense love of this community rises from the ashes. Today, I want to congratulate you, class of 2019, because you have learned, you have loved, and you have made it. Thank you. I'm also super thankful that AKB is our graduation speaker, and I'm thankful that He's leaving, when we're leaving, it kind of feels special. It's like, we're leaving at the same time. Um, he has just put so much heart into the school. At Pepperdine, fair or not, we expect your lives to be successful. Our prayer, however, is that your lives will be deeply satisfying and meaningful. May you be consecrated to do good things emanating from your time with us. And finally, may you be blessed with many perfect and precious days May God bless you and keep you always and in all ways. Thank you. And I have the privilege of conferring upon each one of you the baccalaureate degree with all the rights, all the privileges, and the duties thereto appertaining. Congratulations to each one of you. There's a lot of things I'm excited about for Pepperdine, but primarily just being in a really loving, embracing community of people who love the Lord and are just really looking to find their purpose in life and their calling. And I'm going undeclared. I have no idea what I'm majoring in, but I'm so excited to explore all the different opportunities. Catherine Lynn Quick, summa cum laude. I've been telling people, I'm like, I can't cry right now. I don't know why I tear up sometimes, but I think it's 
this deeper pain <laughs> and hurt <laughs> of knowing that I'm gonna leave a place that has really transformed who I am. Gosh, now I'm gonna cry. Uh, <laughs> but I think that it, yeah, it just, it hurts, but it's also so exciting. I'm so excited for all my friends. I'm excited for my plans and I'm excited for everyone, but it's gonna be just super different to not have this place as my home and my safe place. Andrew David James Howard. Woo! Super job, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Go sir. do good. Thank you. I think what Pepperdine's taught me is that success, money, anything like that is all fine and dandy, but if you're not making a direct impact in the community with which you find yourself and outside of that, it really doesn't mean anything. The most important thing we do in our lives is our impact we have every day with the people we come in contact with. Esther Sumi Huang. I think there's so much hurt and pain in this world, and I think there's so much that needs to be done, and I want to dedicate my life to living out the mission of Christ and um, to seeing God's peace here on this earth. And I think Pepperdine's education um, has given me a solid foundation for being able to launch off into whatever the next adventure may be. Chance Henderson Alexander. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the community. I'm gonna miss being able to wake up and immediately be on campus. I guess at the most part, I'm gonna miss the security. Uh, there's a lot of security that goes into being at a college institution. There's a lot of security going into the idea that you have three other roommates that are on a, uh, the exact same mission to do great uh, for others. And to not have them in close to you is kind of difficult. So I think that's what I'll miss most. <laughs> Olivia Soriano Belda, cum laude. <laughs> A pleasure, thank you so much. Thank you. Truthfully, this university means so much to me and every piece of love that I describe about this campus is completely honest and completely real just because I would not be the person I am today without the people that I met here, the professors that have taught me and impacted me, the mentors that I've had. <laughs> It is with great pleasure that we now conclude the 2019 commencement ceremonies for the Seaver College of Letters, Arts, and Sciences with the recessional march. Thank you for joining us for today's ceremony. Have a wonderful afternoon and drive safely. Job, everyone. It's, been a, it's been a while, guys. But we did it. I can't even begin to just express my gratitude for this place and this people. And I just want to thank anyone who has watched the journey all the way through. And I'm just excited to see how this documentary and this kind of time capsule of four, five of our experiences could potentially be kind of an indicator and a starting place for the dreams of all the students who are gonna come after. Four seasons, three continents, <laughs> four amazing years. It's done! <laughs> oh, was that correct? There's a certain feeling you get when you walk onto this campus. It is not like other college campuses. There's a certain type of student that goes here and they are always friendly, always welcoming, always willing to help. Um, and that's what I found here. And that is, I know that that's not the real world and you're gonna run into different problems in the workplace and different people and um, we're just gonna have to get used to that but I think I'll always be able to lean back on the people that I've met at Pepperdine. I'm gonna miss you bro. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to probably cry a lot. Uh, that's just how it goes. Um, but I think I'm also gonna celebrate the time that I had with everybody. 
that was really real. So, uh, uh, I know, but we got to get together. <laughs> this is my dorm. Well, I should say our. Uh, our. Uh, this is my mother helping me unpack that here. <laughs> Hi. This is my sister, Taylor. She's up there helping me pack. They're all excited. I think they're a little bit more excited than I am. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job. You did a good job. <laughs> 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 Nice to meet you. you, Esther. Fresno. Yeah, Fresno. Yes. So you're the one who gets to help me move in everything. Yes. It literally just feels like yesterday that I was driving into NSO and I was being filmed by the camera and unpacking my bags for the first time and meeting people that would become lifelong friends. And now these four years have happened, and I have no idea what the future holds, but. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Give us the coast, give us stars. You hum the tune, I'll play guitar. Oh, let's lose track of time. Give us night, give us day. Let's find the rules, throw them away. Let's lose track of time. Car ride, playing our favorite tunes, and solar flares on faces in the late afternoon. Conversation stretching back to who we used to be, digging up the truth in us. 